Okay, here we are. I'm uh, <clears throat> opening up some packs here that Colton gave me for my birthday. This is pretty exciting. So, as a little bit of a warm up here, I'm going to talk here about <clears throat> these Soul Fusion cards. So, in here, we have um, what I hope is some decent Gravekeeper support, as well as the Danger Monsters. I'm looking forward to pulling uh, Suchinuku, who is the most adorable little pink uh, snake thing. So let's uh, crack this one open and take a look. Alright, so we got Salamangrate Foxy. Not bad. Dino Wrestler Prankatops. Another Link monster. I'm going to be honest here, guys. I don't know Lynx very well. Ooh. Thunder Dragon Duo. That's cool. Put him aside for now. Ooh. Another rare consolation prize. Check that out. A bunch of shit I don't use. Cool. On to the next one. That we got here. Ooh, Salamangrate. Not bad, not bad. More Salamangrate. Dino Wrestler. Ooh, extra Foolish Burial. Pay half your life points. So much of the extra deck. Oh, not as good as I thought. Orchest. There's a field card, that's cool. Falco. Eh. Alright. Next one. Nope. Okay. More Salad Boys. Dino Wrestler. That's kind of cool. Ooh, here's another rare. Longearsu, the Orchest Orchestrator. Yeah, I can dig it. That's cool. Clock Spartoy. <laughs> Clark Spart Boy. Don't know you. Ha, huh, Fluffle. Never gonna make that deck. Nope. Ah, Dino Wrestler. Okay, we got two more chances here, folks. Tay wants that, wants that little pink snake. Let's see if I can pull him. Dino Wrestler. Nope. The field card. Ah, oh, fuck Lynx. Ooh. Herald of the Abyss. Check that out. That's cool. Orcist Harp Horror. It's more dragon than machine, but eh, pretty cool. Salamangri Falco. Ooh. Oh, it's Pendulum. Never mind. Why bash Fluffles? Because I don't know what, what they do, and I don't know. Do we need more cute monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh? What do you think, Colton? Lots of Salad Boys. I can dig that. I could make a Salad Boy deck. Oh shit, look at that! We got our first danger card. Second expedition into danger. Beautiful. That makes Tay happy. Thunder Dragon Discharge. Oh, and look, we got some fucking Gravekeeper support. Isn't that great? That makes Tay happy. That's cool. Preta Plant Dragostapelia. Plant Fusion. Well, looks like I gotta make myself a Sal Salmangrate deck, folks. Well, that's cool. Not a bad first pull. At least we got one fucking danger card. Okay, now on to Savage Strike. Now, Colton wondered why the fuck do I want these? Because I said I wanted Danger Ogopogo, which is again part of the danger archetype. But he also said, why the fuck would you want to pull just one card from random packs? And I said, well, <clears throat> there's also Witch's Strike, which look that card up, that's really cool. Um, it's an unreal trap card that basically wipes the board once your opponent summons shit, it's pretty cool. And then there's also Rocket Synchron, which is a sweet little tuner that I want to use. And Thunderclap Monk, which has got some great synergy with uh, my Thunder King Rayo. Crack these open. Let's get that Ogopogo. Child's Play. Nope. Six Samurai cards. Nah. No, 
Nothing good there. Let's try this one. Okay. What have we here? Time Thief Bazel Ship? Nope. No. Perform pull. Eh, I've heard about them. Got some more salad boys, that's cool. Ghost Meets Girl. A Shirin Shiranui story. Hmm. Guard Dragon Shield. Those two aren't bad. Edge of the Ring, another Salad Boy. Sub Terror. <sighs> so far, no good. Where's that Ogopogo? Want that bad boy. I want him on my team, you know? Salad Boy. Link. Oh, there's a rare. Valkyrie Virit. What is Edge of the Ring? I honestly don't know. Did I pull that? Was that back there? Apple of Enlightenment. Not bad. Orcus. I've heard a lot about these guys. Psychic card. Don't know them too well. Alright, we got two more packs. Guard Dragon Core Awakening. Normal types, eh, no good. Tank Grub, it's not bad. One of those. Oh shit, look at that, we got the fucking cover card. Check that shit out. That's cool. Salamangrate Violet Chimera. Cyber card, that's, that's a new type, I'm not really sure much about them. Anyway, pretty cool. Red Rising Dragon, Guard Dragon Promenesis, another Salad Boy. Okay, this is our big conclusion here, folks. This is the last pack. Are we gonna get that Ogopogo? I certainly hope so. Okay, Update Jammer, kind of cool artwork. Neo Space Connector, okay, Neo Spation, that's cool. They got some support. Oh, Loof Lupine, look at that. I forgot to mention, I was actually looking for these guys. They're really cool. Pretty neat effect. Cyburse Integrator. Nah. Ooh, Fateful Hour. Target one monster that cannot be normal summon set in either graveyard. Special summon. Oh shit, look at that. This card right here, folks. This is great for my main Chaos deck. You want to know why? Because I run BLS and Chaos Emperor Dragon, and neither of them can be normal summoned or set. And they can't be special summoned otherwise, but this, this will come in handy. That's cool. Speed Burst Dragon. Oh, he synergizes with Rocket Monsters too. That's cool. Okay, I can dig that. Extra Ceratops. Okay. Orcus Nightmare. That's cool too. Subterra Guru. Lots of dragons in this pack, eh? Pretty good set. <laughs> Okay, folks. Well, unfortunately, we definitely did not get any decent danger cards besides that one trap. But I'll show you my, my good pulls that I was happy with tonight. We've got a Loof Lupine. Got a pretty wild effect. Uh, basically, it works kind of like Mystic Tomato, but he pulls another Loof Lupine. And they got some other crazy wild effect that I can't think of right now. Speed Burst Dragon looks pretty cool. I can definitely dig that. He synergizes with those rocket guys, and I want to get more rockets because they seem pretty cool. Of course, Fateful Hour, that's amazing. Salamangrate Violet Chimera, pretty cool looking rare. Borload Savage Dragon, I can definitely appreciate pulling that, uh, that cover monster. Pretty sweet. Apple of Enlightenment, let's take a look at this. What archetype is the Luf Lupine? I, I think he's just, just himself. Like, I think he just sort of synergizes on his own. Banish a monster from your hand, banish a monster from your deck with the same type as that monster. If this card is destroyed by battle, or if this card is in your opponent's possession, it's just about opponent's card effect. Hmm. Okay. Apple of Enlightenment. Oh, Valkyrie. Never mind, that's no good. I can't use that shit. Another Valkyrie. Maybe I'll make a Valkyrie deck. Maybe I'll make a Valkyrie deck for Ange. That could work. Ghost meets girl. A Shiri Shiranui story. Wow, I butchered that. Holy shit! Another archetype thing. Yeah, it's no good. Never mind. Guard dragon shield. Oh man. 
That's kind of cool. I can dig that. Gravekeeper, there we go. During your main phase, if Necro Valley is in the field, you can fusion summon one special spellcaster fusion monster from your extra deck. Using this card, you control other monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. You can only use this effect to Gravekeeper Spiritual once per turn. Oh, that's no good. I don't use fusion monsters in my Gravekeeper deck. Thunder Dragon Discharge. Hmm. There's that danger card. Damn, I love that. Orcist Harp Horror. Hmm. That's sweet. Herald of the Abyss. What does this do? This is a cool looking card. Pay 15 hundred life points and declare one monster type and one attribute. Your opponent must send one face-up monster with a declared type and attribute from their field to the graveyard, if possible. For the rest of this turn, your opponent cannot activate the effects of monsters with that second monster's name. Oh, cool. Okay. Damn. Not bad. Clark Spartoy. Hmm. Cool. Longirisu, the Orcist Orchestrator. Hmm. Wild. Constellation Prize. Cool. And Thunder Dragon Duo. Let's get that in focus there. You're right, buddy. That Carol card would body bag the Ghost Tricks. Wreck him. Cool. Okay, well, I think that about does it for tonight, folks. I'm uh, gonna sign off here. So, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.